Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm joined by my sweet boy Al. He's just been so sweet lately. I have lots of vlogs coming. I have the house tour coming next week, I think. And then I have a Dillard's vlog coming that's gonna be like all of the behind the scenes. This has been like a year in the making. I'm feeling inspired again. I'm feeling settled. We just went on our last trip for a while. The big trip. We go to LA tomorrow and then we go to Oregon two weeks after that. We're never not traveling. So this week I wanted to do something different and kind of force myself to vlog and force myself to get back into the habit of things. And I wanted to do 24 hours in LA. Tomorrow we're flying to LA and we are going to the iHeart Awards. We have a podcast with iHeart if you haven't listened, check it out. It's called Suckers. And actually you really should check it out because it's a great podcast. But we all have our own segments. So Dean talks about traveling, Jared talks about being a dad, and I talk about pop culture, which I'm like, I like pop culture. It's really hard to talk about. But what I really love talking about is books, and I could talk about books forever. So this week's podcast, which once this is up, I think the podcast will be up too, I'm recapping. We're doing like a mini book club, Suckers Book Club. And this month is The Nightingale. So I'm going to be chatting all things Nightingale. If you have read it, tune in. If you haven't read it, read it and then tune in because it's one of the best books I've read this year. I can't stop talking about it. It's so good. But I wanted to do 24 hours in LA. So we go to the iHeart Awards tomorrow, just quick in and out and just kind of rehab it for you. Last year when I went, I was two rows behind Taylor Swift and she's not going to be here this year, but that was awesome. So I'm going to take you the best of my ability, take you through the iHeart Awards and getting ready, the outfit, which I can show you. I am about to start sewing it. So I got this outfit. I was like targeted on Instagram. I was like, oh, this is cool. Like I want something unique and different. I feel like I always go for House of CB, which I love. And the fit is always so good, like never needs alterations. And I'm like, I always do House of CB and I could do House of CB again because there's a dress I've been wanting to wear, but let's do something different. So I found this dress. I was like looking all over for something fun. And then because I was looking so heavily at different dresses and outfits, I was targeted on Instagram. So I bought this, it's like a three piece set. So there's like this little mini cape and it didn't show you what's under the cape, but I'm like, it's gotta be just a strapless top and a skirt, right? So it comes and it had these straps. So I cut them off. I'm just gonna get it out. So this cape, it's like this little mini cape, which is kind of fun. And I think I'm gonna do some photos with some without because I'm not totally sold on it. It's, it's different, it's out there for me. And then this little skirt. You can see what's left. So I like, I'm no seamstress. I really got in there and there's like a hole that I cut because they really sewed these straps in here. This one I just trimmed down the best I could. And I've tried it on and you can't see these little leftover stragglers. I went to Target the other day and I needed to get a sewing kit. So I'm going to sew these down and then it'll just be strapless. But the straps were like braided and thick and I just wanted something really simple and cute. And then I'm wearing my Dillard's heels to go with it. So you didn't know, I launched my own collection at Dillard's. It's available now, I'll link it below. And I'm wearing the Tivoli heels, which I really wanted to do like an all red outfit, like a red clutch, red heels, maybe red bow. And I also have Orem earrings that are gold with red. So I was like, I really wanna go all red. But then I tried them on with my Dillard's heels. And I know if I wore these red heels that I, that I have, my feet would be in so much pain. I would be hobbling out of there. I'd be asking Dean to carry me. I'd be in a bad mood and I just don't want that. And my heels are so comfortable. I've worn them. I wore um, the black version to the Golden Bachelor wedding. They're just so comfortable and I'm proud of them. So I want to show them off. So I'm going to be wearing those. They're nude. But what was my point of that? I don't know. But we went to the, um, we went to Jingle Ball and I wore these black heels. Oh my gosh. I, and it, and it sucks too when you're wearing these heels, like beginning of the night, you look good. And then the middle of the night, you're like, you can barely walk and by the end of the night, I really could barely walk out of there. And I'm telling myself, I'm not going to take my shoes off at Jingle Ball. That is crazy. So comfy heels and cute heels, comfy and cute. So right now I'm going to sew this down, but welcome to 24 hours in LA. Started a bit early, but we're not in LA yet. So it makes sense, I guess. I don't know why I watch a lot of things on my iPad when I have a TV right behind me. That's dumb. I should watch it on TV. I talked about this on TikTok, but I have been in this weird funk all week. I've been in this funk that I can't get out of. And so 
I've been craving summer. What better way to get myself out of this funk than rewatching The Summer I Turned Pretty? So that's what I've been doing. And it's just such a feel good show, and I just love them all so much as characters and actors. Um, so that's gonna be it playing behind me as I attempt to sew. And I do not know how to sew. I was in this class in high school. It was basically home ec, but we, it was called something else. It was like a fashion class. I remember it being a fashion class. We had to l learn about fashion from like the 1900s up until now. And there was a portion of the class second semester that we had to sew. We had to sew pajama pants and I got a D. And I was like an AB student. I was, I was a pretty good student. And I got a D and I was crushed because this was a big portion of our grade. Because my pants, like one leg was like this, and I don't know how, I'm just really truly this bad at sewing. And one peg, one peg, one leg went in like that and you couldn't even fit like a toe through it. So I think I can just, like all I have to do is just pin these down essentially. It doesn't even need to be sewed. So I think I can do it. so bad like certainly a terrible uh, sewing job if you look on the inside but they're down and that's all that matters I thought I had more time to vlog but uh, hair and makeup took a little longer and we were a little delayed with our flight here is the outfit Last night was so fun. We saw the most amazing artists. We saw Cher perform, Jennifer Hudson. Who else did we see? Ludacris performed, he was great. Justin Timberlake was so good. It was a really fun night. And then we came back to the hotel, our haunted hotel. I didn't realize that this hotel was haunted, but I found that out last night. Could have gone without knowing it, but we didn't encounter anything last night, which is great. But I read this morning on TikTok that it's haunted by Marilyn Monroe, which is pretty cool. We're staying at the Hollywood, the, the Roosevelt, and I am currently in New Fabletics. I'm going to go lay by the pool or try to and enjoy this weather before we have to go back to Colorado. I got a new camera, so this is my first time vlogging with it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So I've been talking to Dean. I was like, do we switch from Nikon to Sony? Because everyone raves about Sony. Everyone talks about its low light capabilities, its video, and the colors are like so much better. I'm so excited. I love this camera. It's my first time really shooting with it. I just shot Fabletics and I'm like, I'm loving it so much. It's the A7C2, I believe. And it's gonna be a slow process to like transition from Nikon to Sony, but I'm really excited about it. Like so excited. I am loving this camera. And just a recap from last night. So I landed at we landed at 11.30, I think, and then got in an Uber. We're staying in Hollywood, and it's an hour from LAX to Hollywood. Probably left the airport at like 11.40. Get here at 12.40. My hair and makeup time is set for 12.30, and I was like, there's just no way. So I show up late to hair and makeup. Emma, like, flew through it, did such a good job, and I'll show you my inspo. Crushed it. She always crushes it. Emma did my hair and makeup for the wedding. Oh, it's still pulled up. This was the inspo. Hailey Bieber always. I really liked just like the one piece down. I never do updos and just really soft makeup, but because I had that little cape on, I was like, I, I kind of, I have to have my hair up. It's like the only way. Emma crushed it and then getting hair and makeup and they're like, you have to be ready in like two minutes. So as soon as Emma was done, came up here, steamed my outfit super quick and then ran out the door like, so fast and then we went straight to the red carpet it's a lot of hurry up and wait i feel like it always is they just want to get like the like us talent the faux talent on the red carpet and off and then bring in the real talent like beyonce Cher, meryl streep 
ever there were so many people there it was crazy I'm so bummed we didn't get to see Beyonce perform but she wasn't there to perform she was there to win an award and it's so cool that she was even there just running through the list of people Justin Timberlake Cher Meryl Streep Jennifer Hudson Beyonce Tate McRae I feel like she's like a big Gen Z girl she was good she was good felt I feel like it was star studded it was crazy um Jojo Siwa was sitting a few rows in front of us it was so much fun I had to go to the bathroom so then I got locked out until the next commercial break and I was with Kathy and Susan from Golden Bachelor and they're just a blast so much fun and then I was sitting next to Rachel Levis the whole time and then we came back to the hotel bar stayed up until like midnight which was too late then woke up this morning and shot a bunch of things that I needed to get shot now I head back to the airport tried to lay out I laid out for like 30 minutes and now it's time to go to the airport because it's another hour-long drive it was so quick and I don't think I'll ever come back to this hotel because I hate Hollywood but this is the cutest hotel I had no idea this hotel existed it's so cute I just went down to grab coffee and it's so precious classic and cute I have no other words I'm exhausted in just a couple hours we'll be back with our boy one of Dean's best friends from high school is staying at our house and watching Al right now so he gets to stay at the comfort of his own home instead of going to daycare but I really do think he loves daycare and it's making him behave more I think around other dogs he was out in our front yard Dean was meeting our neighbors and he didn't go after the other dog didn't go after the humans so he's been doing great I think he's just really happy in Colorado which is awesome so that's a lot of rambling I think that's all I have but my camera waster is stuck with iPhone this is my airport outfit I feel like trench coats just elevate any outfit like you're wearing workout clothes but you put a trench over it instantly cuter also these are my weakness so good oh my gosh Oh, I don't want to leave. It's so nice here right now. I feel like it's, everyone's been complaining about how gloomy and cold it's been in LA and it is perfect weather right now. I wish I was here for a week, which is crazy because I've like fallen out of love with LA and I never want to come here. But now that I'm here, I'm like, wait, actually, I don't want to leave. I did an outro for this and I lost it. So here it is again. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed because I feel like I'm going to be back on YouTube quite a bit more and I'll see you next week.